Welcome to the third tutorial of our chat app series and in the earlier tutorial the last one uh, when we were uh, even when our username was uh, written but still it was giving an error of required so it was because uh, it was because I I set the wrong edit text here instead of ed password yeah so I've just fixed that and uh, also when the user was registering we should add a toast message so we can add a toast message here that registered successfully so you know we just get an indication even if our emulator is slow we know that it's registered okay now we'll move on to how to work with the login activity because now we have gotten the credentials of the user so how to log in now and here we are login button set on click listener and here we will perform the same uh, same uh, same uh, thing that we have done in our register activity so here we will store the email and the password so email et email get text to string e password et password get text to string and now what I'll do here is if text utils is empty email then it should give an error set error required if text utils sorry as if text utils is empty um, what was it password yeah then et password set error required else log login log me in passing email and password okay so now what we have done is we have created a helper method and we are logging in our app so what we'll do here is we'll just take another instance of our firebase authentication member class auth and we can just come in here and firebase or the get instance or we can just do it there in on create more clear and yeah here what I'll do is m auth sign in with email and password email and password add on complete on complete listener if task is successful if it has logged in successfully we want the main activity to start so just simple intent nothing too deep 
we are in login activity so here we'll be writing login activity this and main activity dot class intent add flags clear top intent new task start activity intent finish and here we can write a toast logged in successfully logged in successfully and now let's run the app so now we will work on our more serious stuff of the app after we have logged in successfully so we'll do that in the next tutorial yeah so I click login and I had registered an account in front of all of you and I'll just try to log in with that login successfully and now we haven't attached the fragment so that is why we cannot see it so we have to work in our main activity next to attach the fragments so that's it for this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one